we've never tried to mount a contact tracing program in the United States as large as the one that we're talking about right now. Quite simply, contact tracing is the process of identifying all those people who a case has been in close proximity to over the last several days and making sure those people are aware so that they don't pass the disease on to others. Health department reaches out and they would identify all of their uh, contacts, all the people they were in contact with for a prolonged period of time. And then the public health authorities would reach out to those people, notify them that they've been in contact with a case of coronavirus and ask them to quarantine for 14 days while looking very carefully for any evidence of symptoms. Right now, health departments do contact tracing routinely for a number of diseases, but this is a larger scale. I think the concerns are mostly the scope, right? How big it is and the privacy pieces. Patient information is always private in the United States. Healthcare systems don't give out individual patient information. So we have to make sure we have well-trained contact tracers with good safeguards in place, similar to what we've had over the many decades uh, with the work we've done around tuberculosis, hepatitis, and other similar diseases. I'm hopeful that as the number of cases per day declines, uh, that there, it will be possible for health departments to take this on. There's a big opportunity to do this work and it's important to do it because we need to use every tool we have to allow us to slowly release ourselves back into the community.